Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkle Zunky, and I'm going to show you guys how to do familiarization today. If you don't know, familiarization is a really quick mini game. You can do it once a week. It takes about five minutes, five to ten minutes, um, depending on how long it takes you to find a world. But it really does not take very long at all. And uh, the reward for doing this mini game is you get three times the charm drops for 30 minutes. So it is totally worth doing once a week if you are not 99 summoning. Or if you're like me and you're just going for a large amount of summoning XP, um, I'm going for 50 mil summoning during the bonus experience weekend. Um, I find it very worth doing to do the familiarization minigame once a week. So anyway, what you want to do is come to Taverly, talk to Pick Up Sticks. He says, welcome to my humble abode. And then you say, talk about Pick and Mix. Very uh, nice name that uh, they came up with there. So what you want to ask him is, so where's Pick and Mix? And he will say either, I expect he's off somewhere relaxing, he's been quite busy lately. Or he will give you kind of a, a riddle-like clue. Um, if he says this, I expect he's off somewhere relaxing, what you can do is just go to your friend's chat and um, join a different world because the timer is different for every single world. And you just want to do this um, over and over, keep hopping worlds until you eventually find one where he gives you a hint on where Pick and Mix is. So I'm black screened, but anyway, yeah. Again, we just talked to pick up sticks and talk about pick and mix. And so, where is pick and mix at? And again, he's relaxing. But anyway, you just want to keep doing that until you find a world. Um, the riddles won't tell you exactly where he is, but I will have a link in the description to the RuneScape wiki page, and on that page, it will tell you where all the riddles are um, and lo what locations all those riddles are. So just. Uh, when he actually gives you a riddle for where pick and mix is, just click that link and uh, look at where he is exactly and then go to there and there will be a little shimmering obelisk. But anyway, um, I have some pre-recorded footage of what the minigame is about and I'll show that and tell you exactly how to um, go about completing the minigame now. So one thing that is highly recommended before you do this minigame is if you have completed the quest as a first resort, it's the quest to kind of unlock the Ogre City of Ugalog, or however you want to pronounce it. Um, I'm not sure that that word was really spelled in a way that human tongues were um, designed to pronounce. But anyway, uh, you want to go down to Ugalog and jump in that pool that I just showed you there, and that will give you unlimited run for 10 to 25 minutes depending on your agility level. Um, so my friend told me exactly where the obelisk was uh, at this certain time, but again, if you don't know where it is, just use the trick showed earlier in the video. And um, what you do is you basically just run around this little spirit plane here, um, and you collect all these raw shards that are on the ground. So um, that's where the unlimited run really comes in handy, because it, me it just means you can run the entire time and get it done really quickly. Um, there will be some other familiars wandering around, some NPC familiars. There are a couple ones that can drain your timer. Um, you have 10 minutes to collect 60 shards. If you have unlimited run, don't even worry about the familiars that can drain your timer, um, as they really have hardly an effect, because you can still finish uh, this entire minigame in 5 minutes, even if you get your timer drained a few times, which did happen to me, so it's not even a big deal. Um, but anyway, I have this super sped up just because uh, all you want to do is just run around and collect these shards. I'd recommend to do it in kind of a pattern. I started in the middle and I started um, going towards the north and then I just went all around in a big circle around the edges. Um, and that way you don't double track on yourself too much. Um, you, don't, you don't double back on yourself and uh, you don't get confused and you end up gathering all the shards. So anyway, it's quite easy. Um, if you don't have the unlimited run, you can still do this. It'll just take you a bit longer. And as you can see, my friend is actually in the mini game with me. I did not know this, but um, it's not a separate instance just for you. So you can actually see other people in the mini game. It's kind of funny because he was a cockatrice and I was a Lurupia, which is obviously way cooler than a cockatrice. But anyway, um, that's about all for this guy. That you just can you can either talk to this guy or you can go back and talk to pick up sticks. Um, as you can see, I'm all geared up for water fiends. And uh, I'll show you that in a loot video, which is coming soon, um, loot from 40 Minutes of Charms. But anyway, thanks for watching and farewell.